Hey there everyone, it's Thackard and welcome back to another guide for Survival Fountain of Youth. Today's guide is about the native maps. So currently in game, to unlock a new region, you need to do one of three things. The first thing you can do is complete the story up until the point where it will take you to the new region. The second way to get to a new region is through a technical unlock. The technical unlock for the bird region is the canoe. Making a canoe will allow you to travel to the next region. The final way to unlock a new region is through the native maps. Creating a native map will allow you to go to that next region. To do so, you are going to have to find the five pieces of a map scattered throughout either the islands or the entire region. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you where these locations for the map pieces are on the overhead map. And then I will actually show you where they are in game so you can see them a little bit easier. If you guys do get something from this guide, please give it a thumbs up. That way the YouTube algorithm might pick it up and give it as a suggestion to someone else who might be looking for some solutions. All right, let's go over to the big map now and we'll take a look at all the map pieces located in the bird region. All right, the first four of the native map pieces are located on the Island of Hope itself. The first one is located in the caves near the native observation point at the top of the mountain. The second one is located at the temple that contains the water puzzle. The third is at the burn pit to the north side of the island. And then the fourth one is at the sacrificial altar at the very south side of the island. The fifth and final piece is actually not on the island of hope itself. It's located at the lonely rock. Now that I've shown you where these are on the overhead map, let's take a look in game to give you a more precise location for each one of these. The first one is once again in the cave system right next to the natives observation post at the top of the mountain. You'll find it right near this giant, looks like fallen pillar that's inside the mountain. The second map piece is located inside of the water puzzle temple. You'll find it just inside on the left, along with a lot of other random items. The third piece can be found on the north side of the island at the burn pit. Now, once you enter the site, you will find it just off to your left. The last piece on the Island of Hope itself is at the sacrificial altar on the south side. Go up the stairs and walk all the way to the end and you'll see it right at the base of the altar. As I mentioned earlier, the fifth and final piece of the bird region is located inside the Lonely Rock. Once inside, just head up the stairs and you will run into it in no time. Having discussed all the pieces for the bird region, let's head to the pieces found in the Buffalo region. In the Buffalo region, you will find two on the Copper Island, one on the Red Island, and the final two on the Windy Island. Let's take a look at the Copper Island first. You can find the first piece by the cartography tree to the east side of the island. The second piece is located all the way to the northeast corner next to the clay deposit. The only map piece located on the Red Island is on the western coast. You can find it inside of an ancient building near the fishing point. The final two map pieces are both located on the Windy Island. Now the first one you should find relatively easily. It's located on a central location at the abandoned campsite. Now the second one is located deep within the mines on the Windy Island, inside of the Fire Cavern. Alright, the first one we're going to be looking at in-game is the one on the east side of the Copper Island. This is located near the cartography tree at this rather interesting site with a buffalo skull in it. The second one on the Copper Island is located to the northeast by the clay deposit, kind of in between these two fallen pillars. 
The third piece can be found on the red eyelid inside of this little red structure next to the fishing point. If you go to the center of the Windy Island at the abandoned camp, you will find the first of the final two map pieces. The final piece for the Buffalo region is located inside of the Fire Cavern. Now, do be careful in here. There is a leopard, and while it is a fire cavern, it is very easy to get burned. All right, so there you have all of the map pieces, which will allow you to make the native maps for both of the bird region and the buffalo region. Now, the ones that you see for the buffalo region actually don't unlock anything yet, but when they do add in the next region, you'll know where they are located. Once again, everybody, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you got something from it. If you did, leave those thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let me know that you are still liking this content, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.